I am filming, I am alone, I am going through something right now. What's the title gonna be? What's the thumbnail gonna be? <sighs> what do they say, Shit or get off the pot? Well then, okay. Houston, we've got mold. We uh, went up to the trash and scavenged a box and we've got our uh, template. I think it's gonna do the job. Thanks for watching Bums on a Boat. My name is Joel and I'm here without my fiance and dog Lola, watching over our boat and completing boat projects. They will return soon and I'm hoping to make them proud. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, good whatever time of day it is for you. We are just now getting into mid-morning here in Grenada. We're boarding our 33-foot sailboat, Shock Mate, and we're here in project mode right now. We've already had a couple exciting developments today. The biggest exciting development is that we now have a shipping address. So we can finally ship things here. It's gonna be a little pricey. There's a, you know, it's slightly complicated, but it doesn't sound too tough. You gotta fill out some paperwork depending on the value of your items and whether it's personal, um, and then you, we have an agent now, Kurt is his name. Um, so we'll fill you guys in on how all of this works for us. So basically Michael and I, my fiance, we are getting married in less than a year now. And we have been on this boat for going on five years now. And we, together, I've been on the boat longer than that. So I was on the boat before Michael. And we have recently decided like we wanna make some upgrades to Shock Mate that most cruisers have that we've been doing without, or we've been basically skimping. Just little things like our water supply, our battery bank, um, comfort level, our shower situation, all these little things that we've been managing to do. We've been um, skimping. I don't know how to, how to say living, living, living minimally. Let's just say that, I, I believe, I believe anyways. I'm sure there's people that, you know, would make us look like we're hoarders and, um, greedy and all that you know people with maybe a backpack or something walking around with nothing else but anyways I digress and I now move on to my mission today there's a lot of missions guys stay tuned we got not only are we in project mode we're gonna be taking measurements we're gonna be trying to build build something out of cardboard hopefully and then we're gonna be thinking our way through some problems and we're gonna include you to see like what our options are in the future moving forward what kind of things we want to do we have so many projects and it's open it's like an open book you can just do whatever you want you know you can make it up as you go you can just cut holes in the boat install here there anywhere so it's just kind of fun to think our way through this and I really enjoy having all of you out there to think your way through the problems with us and to let us know what, what you think you would do as we take all of that into account and also take our own opinions into account and balance all of that and then boof, come out with something and give it our best shot. <sighs> all right, let's go, baby. All right, you guys, don't tell anybody. Two, four, two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Yeah, all right, come on. You guys think I'm gonna give you my code? No, oh boy. Wow, this baby, get this toilet Michael approved here. What? Are you rubbing one out? Maybe. Oh my God. This, this isn't the dreaded drop by, is it? No, what, what's the dreaded drop by? If you guys live on a boat, let me know if you like the drop by or not. It's when you're on the boat, you're in the zone, maybe you're rubbing one out, or um, you could be with your partner, or you know, you could be doing the Rubik's Cube or in the zone doing chess or playing the guitar. Yeah. Or you could be dancing naked. And then they just show up and knock on the boat and they're like, hey. Uh, hey, bud. And then they have under Are you children with them. You guys want to talk? Look at this cutie. Uh, hey, Shloof. Hey, Shloof. <laughs> Duh. He's just digging the dinghy, you know. 
and they're out. There's a squall coming, they see rain, they left the hatches open. So it's a typical thing, you're talking, you're chatting. Oh boy, there's rain coming, gotta go close the hatches. All right, I'm out of here, whoop. So yeah, we're gonna get some rain coming, so we're gonna go down, hunker below. Um, it rains a lot here at this time of year in Grenada. It's, uh, yeah, it's about October 4th right now, so this is the, oh, yep, it's raining. Let's go down below and continue our mission for the day. You know, you can't just always script everything and think, you know, what is the episode going to be about? What are we going to talk about? You know, for me, I finally realized I just have to be. I have to feel. I have to live. I have to just give and be energized and just be random and sporadic and go, how do you do, Mr. Popeye? And all of those things and just pull the camera out and be the best that I can be. And that's the only way I really know how to film. So lately, Michael and I have been trying to write scripts. We've been trying to think ahead. What is this episode exactly going to be? Why are people going to want to watch it? Where's the value? You know, what's the title going to be? What's the thumbnail going to be? <sighs> and now I feel like I just want to just be, you know, that's bums on a boat. This is a happy place for those of you who just want to be. You just want to be real. You just want to be honest. Sometimes you want to be vulnerable. And I am filming. I am alone. I am going through something right now. I've been away from Michael for over a month. I have fallen a little bit on my mission to kill Shock Mate. By killing her, I mean getting her in good shape. Making excuses, making excuses. It's too hot. Yeah, it is really hot. Everything's really slow. I go out there for eight hours and I hardly get anything done. I'm really hot, it's uncomfortable. So what? Do it, Joel. Do it or don't. You know, what do they say? Shit or get off the pot? Well then, okay. I guess I will. But I gotta pump out the bilge right now because I left the hatches open because I was trying to ventilate shock because she's really hot. And I figured I'll just crack the hatches. And then we just had a crazy downpour last night. Just, just dumping. And I was up at night going, oh my God, the hatches are open. But it's really not too bad. I mean, this is the worst of it here, right underneath the middle hatch. That just came from this little crack here. Otherwise, we'd be bone dry. Almost. Shock Mate has a couple leaks we're still working on, but. I did not have any coffee this morning. No, I did not have two cups. No, I, I absolutely had no coffee at all. Don't give me that. Okay, for you guys, just to show you how much I love you, I'm gonna turn the fan off just so we have optimal sound and I'm just gonna roast for a couple minutes while I share with you my dilemma. And it's not really a dilemma, it's just kind of a fun project and we have a few options. So what we have here is the space where our fresh water storage was, and it was a water bag. I have it up top now, I removed it. They've been leaking on us, we have two of them. So I'm gonna start here, I've taken it out, I've cleaned it, measured this space, and I wanna optimally use this space, not only to carry as much fresh water as we possibly can, but also to stop the leaking into the bilge constantly. You know, if you're gonna do some long crossings, you can't have your fresh water supply leaking into the bilge, especially if you don't have a water maker yet, which we don't yet. Okay, so we have measurements. I um, wrote them all down. I'm gonna go get a hold of some cardboard later today and try to build my little template with cardboard just to see if what I had in mind is actually gonna work before obviously we have it built and then try to put it in and it's, something's wrong. First option we're thinking is we want to get a quote for an aluminum box. So we want to get measurements, have it custom built to, in order to maximize this odd size and shape space. And then we're just going to get a quote and see how much it'll cost somebody to fabricate um, an aluminum, to weld aluminum and fabricate the whole uh, fresh water container, storage unit. And then we'll go from there based on the quote. Uh, our friend Warren, who is a patron of ours, also says you could use some expanding foam, some of that spray foam, and just kind of make it smooth in here and then try a water bladder again if it's super expensive to fabricate the aluminum. So if you guys have any other ideas, how can we utilize this space? As far as I can tell, this is the best place to keep fresh water on Shock Mate. If, yeah, I, you'd have to really tear this thing apart to like rearrange it make fresh water storage somewhere else, like in the V-Birth, for example. Okay, measured, boom.
Houston, we've got mold. Die! Die, you vermin! Ah! How about you? It's been a battle. It's been a fight. Joel versus Mold. I've been battling. I've been winning. Been dominating. We've got all of our cushion covers off, at least here in the cabin. We haven't gotten the V-Birth yet because we're moving one step at a time, okay? The V-Birth is slammed. It's full of stuff. This is uh, kind of like playing Tetris with your life. But we have, you know, all of the covers off. So we're going to take those in and wash these babies so we have nice, clean, non-moldy covers. We scrubbed all the mold off of the ceiling, off of all the walls and the drawers. I mean, anything we can see, but there was, there was definitely a good amount of mold here and I'm sure there's more. So I'm just gonna keep battling the mold. We need to get a hold of some cardboard. Shan't be too hard. And I need some lunch. So I think we're gonna head, head out for a bit. But first. Jack, we'll see you soon. We're gonna check on a few things for Ricky and Simone. And um, Ricky needs some paperwork because he's gonna get, whoa. That's not a good sign. Is it bad? Oh my God. You joking. All right guys, here it goes. What do you think? I can't see. It kind of looks the same. <laughs> Dude, it looks really good. I'm amazed. Whatever you did. How did the vultures look? Oh, there's a bit of mold. There's a little mold here, but man, that's not bad compared to what I've been scrubbing off. I mean, <sighs> yeah, it's bloody hot in here, guys, but it, it actually doesn't look very moldy. Um, Let's see, let's look at the bilge. All right, guys, I'm gonna put you down. Ricky and Simone told us how they kept the mold off and they sprayed everything with vinegar before they left. Was it white vinegar? Yep. Apple cider white vinegar? vinegar? Yeah. And you just literally ju vinegar. just sprayed it all over everything. Uh huh. And you didn't scrub it, you just left it. Just left it. it. Well, it kind of like wiped it down so it doesn't drip. Yeah. So I used a clean cloth and just wiped it out. Okay. So pre maintenance, because we use white vinegar to clean up the mold once it's all over the place, but we didn't know you could just dab it on and then yeah cool all right man it's hot in here it's hot it's hot <laughs> all right lady africa it's looking good a, a hair moldy and very hot you know if we want to <clears throat> start going to the sauna on a daily basis we could just come to lady africa sit in here for 30 minutes come out get a good sweat on that is freaking hot down there guys That's all we got with the cardboard that we had um, about halfway done. So this side's gonna be taller. So we're gonna have to hunt some more cardboard down. Ooh. Whoa, babe. Those are fancy. Yeah. Wow. She'll be here soon. She's opening a package. Just getting ready for dinner. Saw something interesting happening here. Thought I'd uh, thought I'd share with you guys. I think they're gonna pin it with a long rope, and he's gonna jump off the dock and land on the wakeboard. And we're here to capture the action. Are you guys enjoying the show? Oh yeah, very. 
curious to see if this goes down well. Okay, he jumped in the water. This makes a little more sense. I was watching him standing on the dock. I thought he was going to try to go full throttle, jump off the dock. I wanted to capture some action, but now he just jumped in the water. He's doing it pretty like standard way, so it probably won't be as exciting for you guys. Woo! It's bright out, guys. Woo. All right, we uh, went up to the trash and scavenged a box, and we've got our uh, template all made up, our first template. Um, we're gonna head over to Shock Mate and just test fit it and just see what it looks like. Um, yeah, might have been a little bit better if I had a less soggy, lumpy boxes, but I think it's gonna do the job. Okay, so the first template I shot for the moon, I went a little too much. I tried to just go as t as tall and as wide and everything as I could, and it's just it's not gonna work. So I'm going to have to. Yeah, just make it smaller in every way to get it in there. All right, so we took off two inches on the height and it fits a lot better. It's not perfect. Um, as you can see, there's a gap on the back there um, because the hole is, is shaped, you know, a little bit rounded. But I feel like this is so much bigger than our water bladder. We had a hundred liter water bladder, which we weren't even really able to completely fill up. So this is replacing that. I don't know how many liters this would hold because it's just a freestyle, but it, it's got to be a ton more. So we even have room to make it smaller. But as it is right now, I really like it. Honestly, I like the dimensions. Um, we could just put some blocks in the back there just to so it doesn't move around, just to keep it really stable. Um, there's room on the top so we can put a nozzle up and, and get a hose hooked up and, and we can still get um, everything on and it would fit. So it looks... It looks pretty good. So as far as the template is concerned, I think we have one. So now the, the thing to do is to go talk to a fabricator of aluminum. We heard there's one at Spice Island Marina and just see, you know, what he has in mind. Let's get a quote here and then we'll go from there. All right, we ran all of our uh, covers through the washer and some of them are worse than others. This is the worst one. There's still mold on them. So I've got white vinegar and then the secret potion, I guess, that was given to them by this guy. I don't even know what it is, but I'm gonna try the white vinegar first and just scrub away. But this is where I'm gonna leave you guys. That's not very exciting. So I'm just gonna scrub and scrub and try to get the mold out. We're gonna go get a quote on that uh, water storage container, handmade. And we're gonna go look at some marine stores and just weigh our options. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're over the water bladder. We still have the water bladder, the old one. Maybe we'll patch it. That one's still in there as an option. But let us know what you think. What would you do in this situation? And also, we can't wait for Michael to get back. We are doing good, I think. No, we're doing great. We're doing great. We're, we're, um, maybe we're a little bit of down to business right now. Um, she's, we're just, we're just doing our things, you know, we, we, we have been checking in on a daily basis, sometimes more than others. Sometimes we just get to say hi and a little this and that and other times, um, it's much better, but I really appreciate all of you guys sharing comments of your experiences being away from your significant other. Some of the situations that I've read is, are just insane, you know, being gone for basically more than half of a year for seven years. I, I don't know. It's just crazy. Life is crazy, right? Life is insane. <sighs> what are you going to do? Just going to live it or not, I guess. All right. Love you guys. We'll see you on the other side. These are the tales of Boab. Bye.